go. When we're looking at the chest, we also find that we have a, uh, 12 pairs of ribs, so a total of 24. The ribs are split into two groups, being the true and false ribs. True ribs articulate anteriorly with the sternum via the coastal cartilage. The coastal cartilage are these uh, areas of white structure that you see here. The actual rib does not begin until this portion. So the rib itself articulates and connects via this cartilage. The first seven ribs, ribs one through seven, are considered the true ribs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The next five ribs are considered false ribs and they do not articulate via the sternum through cartilage. That's eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. The last two ribs, 11 and 12, are called floating ribs. They are also false ribs, but they are also called floating because these uh, ribs protect the kidneys in the back and the other upper abdominal contents, but do not articulate with the body anteriorly at all. When we look at one rib specifically, we have a few bony landmarks that we need to uh, identify. The first one is the head of the rib. Next, we have the angle of the rib. And finally, we have the coastal, uh, costal end of the rib. The area where the uh, rib begins to turn at the angle is where it articulates with the transverse processes to create a joint in the posterior side of the skeleton. So if we go back to the model, you're able to see that off of the vertebrae, we have the right before the angle and the head of the rib here. It articulates to create a joint in between the vertebrae and the rib. 